big night in the world of music. Looks like there'll be peace in Hollywood and a special brew in Japan for Valentine's Day. Hello again, I'm VOA's Todd Grosshans, and this is your daily download. We begin today in Los Angeles, California, with a look at the music industry's big night last night, the Grammys. It was a glitzy, splashy show as usual. A highlight, the queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner, still shaking up with the ever-gorgeous Beyonce. But the big winner, Amy Winehouse. Actually, she just got out of rehab days ago, just in time to win five awards, including Song and Record of the Year, here via satellite from London. Rapper Kanye West won four Grammys, thanking his mother, who passed away last year. And you want me to be the number one artist in the world. And mama, all I'm going to do is keep making you proud. And to top it off, a surprise winner for Album of the Year, jazz artist Herbie Hancock for his tribute album to Joni Mitchell called River, the Joni Letters. This is the first time in 43 years a jazz album made Album of the Year. Herbie Hancock, who's never been to rehab. No, no, no. The three-month writer's strike in Hollywood looks like it's over. We showed that the union is strong. And I think uh, next time they'll think twice before uh, trying to uh, roll back on, on what we've already accomplished. The deal should be final Tuesday. Writers will get paid when their stuff plays on the Internet. That was a big issue, but producers get up to 24 hours of free play for promotional purposes. Some of those popular shows like Grey's Anatomy, CSI, and Heroes could have new episodes for the spring. Some shows won't. The cost of the strike, nearly $2 billion in lost wages. Love is in the air, folks. Valentine's Day is just days away, eagerly awaited in Japan, where this microbrewery in Kanagawa making chocolate-flavored beer they call Love Stout. There's no actual chocolate in the stuff, but it looks and tastes, well, chocolatey. And they're selling a boatload of this brew and a lot to a lot of women, but the best Valentine's Day gift ever for the guys. I know, delicious, isn't it? And good for you. That's it. Drink up. That's your daily download fix for today, and don't forget to check out all the good stuff on our website, the latest news 24-7, www.voanews.com. Thanks for clicking on.